Well, scientists with the University of Texas dug a mile underground, and it's all in hopes of finding signs of mysterious and so far unseen building block of our universe. Okay, so to break this down, we have KXAN <laughs> senior science reporter Eric Hendricks in. It is an invisible substance, yes. and it is beneath the surface. Yes, this is made up video. This is a guess. <laughs> Huh. of what, what it could look like. That's cool. It's pretty cool though. Yeah. Also, we'll take a guess. We'll yeah. take some cool made up video. So we're talking about dark matter. It sounds like something from science fiction, but it's actually, hypothetically, very real. We can't just see it anywhere. It's throughout our galaxy. Stars and galaxies are caught in our orbit of each other, but there isn't enough matter, think planets and rocks, to create the gravity that keeps things in orbit. Now, scientists believe a mysterious substance they call dark matter is what keeps everything together. Hoping to find it, scientists with UT dug a mile deep hole in South Dakota, deep enough that the sun's radiation wouldn't interfere, and dropped, well, a dark matter detector into it hoping to find signs of the thing's existence. Now this week the team announced that the detector hasn't found any dark matter, but that doesn't mean the search is over. Think of the search for dark matter like searching for buried treasure. We have a, a roadmap for a few possible places uh, where that treasure may lie. And we've basically dug part of the way down to where it might be. It could still be deeper below what we've searched so far. Now, researchers activated the detector in 2021, and it'll run for several more years. It's specifically looking for a WIMP, a weakly interacting massive particle. These are very tiny particles that do have some slight mass to them, but they don't have as much of an impact on matter. This is one of the theories of what dark matter could be is these WIMPs. The other one, which I was reading about last night right before bed, which yeah. is a great way to go to sleep, by the way, and cause some <laughs> nightmares, is they're actually primordial black holes. What is that? Like oh, that's... super tiny early baby black holes or leftover black holes from a different time. Stop. That are binding what? it. 95% of the universe is made up of this dark matter. No way. Right. Wow. Yeah, don't read that before you go to bed. Oh, I was like, ooh, interesting. <laughs> cool. So it's, it's likely all around us. The reason they have to go, go so deep is to kind of isolate it in the hope is that they can find it deeper. And then they're going to dig a deeper hole, I guess, and kind of wow. keep looking for that. it. I'm just thinking if I told my son that there was a job where you could dig a mile into Earth in search of some sort of treasure, Sign right? Up. that's like a dream job. I know. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, who of us hasn't just dug a hole in their backyard <laughs> yeah, for Hoping fun. to see what else <laughs> is hoping to find there. something. That's what I was doing when oh I was six. Yeah. I will yeah. say yeah, that. Yeah, six. Six. <laughs> Not last year. No. Um, I will yeah. say that every Friday I learn something new from you yes. when it I comes like to, to science. I like to toss some weird stuff yeah. your way. I love it. I love it. All right.